I wondered if you could tell me briefly about the hand-holding experiment. I think that is a particularly interesting one. Yes. Um, the brain scans and the shocks. This is a study we did here. I have a colleague who's a neuroscientist at the University of Virginia, Jim Cohn. And, you know, we study relationships in slightly different ways. <laughs> you know, I get couples to come into my institute and talk to me and then we change their relationship and we give them questionnaires. And, and he wants to put people in brain scan machines. <laughs> so it, it's a bit different. But basically, um, we were working on a big project to show that we were able at this point not just to change people's satisfaction in the relationship, but we were able to change the security of their bond, their emotional bond, which is a much bigger deal than just changing people's satisfaction. You know, it's like, it's all, all mixed up with trust and closeness and intimacy and you feeling like somebody's got your back, someone will come when you call, that gives you a sort of safety in the world. So we were doing this. So he agreed that we would try something together and that what we did was we got these unhappy, unhappy in their relationship and insecure couples. These were couples who weren't just unhappy, they said, well, I think if I needed my partner, they wouldn't be there. Or I'm not going to need anything from anybody because you can't trust people, right? So we took these people and we worked with them in therapy and indeed we changed their relationship and we changed the nature of their bond. But we also took the women we took the women, we didn't have the money to do the men and the women. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> There's no research in Canada, um, no research money, so um, all the research has to be on a shoestring, right? Mm. So um, we took the women and we put them in an fMRI machine and we said, um, you're going to lie in the machine and you're going to see an X in front of your face. When you see the X, there's about a 30% chance you'll be shocked on your ankles. And what we did was we left them alone in the machine and we showed them the X. And we had a stranger reach in and hold their hand and we showed them the X. And we had their partner um, reach in and hold their hand. Mm -hmm. And before um, our interventions, which we call EFT, okay, mm -hmm. um, before our interventions, in all those three conditions, when the women saw the X, their brains lit up like the 5th of July, and if we all the alarm centers went on and if we asked them if the shock hurt when it happened, they said, yes, it was very painful. Mm -hmm. So then we gave them emotionally focused couples therapy, which is the stuff we do, mm -hmm. um, which was the, the, the program that hold me, the healing hearts together at the um, Heart Institute is based on. Right. So we gave them sessions of EFT and taught them how to have these bonding conversations. And we put them back in the machine. <laughs> And when they're alone or when the stranger holds their hand and they see the X, their brain lights up and the shock is very painful. But this time after these bonding conversations, when their partner holds their hand, they see the X, nothing happens in their brain. Their brain stays completely calm, like nothing's happening. There's no threat. Mm. And if you ask them if the shock hurts, they'll tell you it's uncomfortable. Now that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's interesting on a lot of levels. It's interesting from the point of view of attachment science because that's exactly what attachment science predicts would happen. That closeness with someone you love and trust and you can rely on to come to you when you call literally tranquilizes your nervous system. It tranquilizes your nervous system and it literally changes the way you respond to threat. Hmm. Because you have this amazing resource called, I'm not alone, I have another person beside me. Mm -hmm. And your brain takes that into account. 